Well, with Demon track and field coach Mike Heimerman, whose teams went to McNeese last Saturday, uh, competed very well, and this week they are on spring break, but uh, working during spring break. Mike, tell us about the uh, meet in Lake Charles on Saturday. Well, it was a pretty good meet for us. Uh, we were resting some of our kids, and uh, some of the kids we were, we were trying to focus on a couple relays, uh, and then ended up, we didn't get to run those because we had some kids get hurt, uh, even warming up down there, or just didn't feel quite right. Uh, so we went and took it easy. At this time of the year, a, a nagging injury can, uh, or ling lingering injury can uh, mean bad things. Uh, field events, we still had a pretty good weekend. Uh, Portia Thomas did well in the triple jump again, matched right at her PR in the triple jump. Long jump, maybe not so good. That's what we were kind of focusing on was a long jump and uh, still went down there and did well in the triple jump. Uh, another one was uh, uh, Kenya McDaniel. Had a phenomenal day in the long jump. Uh, I think she was third and, uh, or second. And uh, she had jumped right at her uh, lifetime PR, right at 18, 11 and three quarter, I think right almost 19 feet. Turned around, had a pretty good 200 in the, uh, in the afternoon. Uh, also on the throws, uh, we had a really good day. Keona Jackson had a uh, match right at her PR uh, three times in the uh, hammer and then crushed her PR on the shot put. All six throws were over her old PR and uh, now she's conference leader, ranked 22nd in the, na uh, in the region, I should say, in the shot, doing really, really well. So I see some more things out of her. Um, with that, uh, Shakimia Johnson had another great day in the discus. She had a PR and won the event. Uh, it was a really good day. Uh, with her, Kwanzaa Andrus uh, had another uh, right match, right her, matched her PR in the shot put, and she had four of her six throws at her old PR. So it was a, it was a quality day for her. Uh, with that, I was a little surprised with all the throwers because we're kind of training through the meet, but uh, it was pretty good. Runners, uh, uh, Keenan Jackson had a very good 200 time. Even though that we kind of trained through this week, it was, they did a high volume week and it was just a rough week for him. And he still ran a very, very uh, good time. Four by one, uh, we had a, a kind of a makeshift on the, on the men's side. And uh, we, I think we might have found a new leadoff guy uh, with Brent Giddings and uh, anchored pretty well. We had, a, we had some good exchanges. We ran, you know, mid 41, which isn't fast for us. But uh, we had some things turn around and do well. And we saw how we might be able to get an alternate out of it. So that was pretty good. Uh, Let's see, I'm trying to think, go through everything in my head. High jumps? High jump. Uh, Quentin Allaire had a, uh, another great day. He's getting used to the new approach. This was week two with the approach. He's getting very, very consistent um, with it, and he's so close. I was over there. I actually got to go over and watch his last, uh, last uh, clearance or last bar attempt at 6'9", 6'8 and half, 6'9", and uh, his first two were excellent attempts at it, and uh, third one, it wasn't so good, but uh, he's right there at it to, you know, jumping right at his PR every week. So, you know, when you do that, and, you know, the big, the big jump or the big throw is coming up later in the season. And, uh, you know, with us, it's, it's three weeks out from conference, three to four weeks out from conference, and that's where we hope to see everything. All right, it is spring break this week, but uh, your team is not exactly scattered uh, to the winds. You're going to do some uh, competing this weekend. Yeah, this is the first year uh, in a while that we've actually kept the kids here over spring break. They got off yesterday. They have off until 3 o'clock today on Monday. We'll report back and they start practice and uh, we'll have actually two meets this week. Uh, we'll compete some of them at Sa uh, on Thursday at Southeastern, Thursday and Friday. I guess women's hammers on Thursday and most of the meets on Friday. And then we'll compete the rest of the team on uh, Saturday at LSU. What we're trying to do with this meet is we're uh, setting up a little bit like conference. Conference is a two-day meet, three-day meet for some of the throwers and distance runners. But uh, usually we run prelims on one day, finals on the next day. So we're going to try to set that up with some of our events this week, just to see how we can handle it. Because one of the other things at McNeese this past weekend, it felt hot, but it was about probably almost normal temperature for this time of year. We just have had an unseasonably uh, cool uh, spring so far that uh, we're just not quite used to the heat, so we gotta get used to that heat again, because some of the kids were, that was some of the reasons we didn't get to run what we wanted to run, because the kids were getting dehydrated, getting hot, and just, they were wiped out. So hopefully we can uh, manage that a little bit smarter this week and get used to the heat, because uh, we haven't had it in a while, but uh, that's another reason we're, we're gonna schedule uh, both meets and uh, keep them busy. We don't, uh, don't need them home uh, relaxing this time of year. All right, uh, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, you got this team. Any uh, Easter egg hunting this week? <laughs> no Easter egg hunting. Uh, they'll get back Saturday and they'll be off Sunday and Monday. They'll report back again on uh, Monday afternoon for practice because we're out of school on Monday. I think that's the first year for that. But uh, I just got uh, wind of that last week that they're out Monday, which seems we're, we're out a lot of classes, but that's, uh, that's fine for them. Uh, but no, no Easter egg hunts. Uh, I don't think we could, uh, I don't know if we'd want to find too much. No. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mike. Thank you.